Welcome to Keep Fit with Kim. I'm Kim and today I have a light weight workout. So I'm using half kilo, or roughly one pound hand weights to work our shoulders and arms gently. Uh, you don't need weights, you can do this without. You will get some benefit if you've not got weights. So from here, let's start. We're gonna lengthen the arms away and I'm gonna ask you just bring the arms up to the side and take them back down again. So we're trying to keep them nice and even, nice and controlled, nice and slow. Palms towards the floor. Watch that you're keeping your shoulders down. You're not scrunching them up towards your head. Coming up and down. So don't worry too much about moving with the music. The music is just background. Ask you to turn the palms towards the sky, still holding on, and you're going to bring the arms in towards the shoulders and take them back out. Keeping the elbows soft as you do this, in, taking them out. So it's slow and controlled. Think about your posture while you're doing this. You're engaging your core. Your feet are hip width apart, weight evenly on the feet. If you know you stand forward on your hips or stick your bottom out, then adjust that. Knees should be pointing forward. So we still need to be in our perfect Pilates posture. Okay, and release. Take the arms down. Make sure you're away from a wall or anything. Just give the arms a little swing, release them before we go on to the next exercise. So for the next exercise, we're going to do a VW. So the V is here, wide, and the W is here. Notice where my hands are, they're not all in tight, they're out to the side, so I'm pulling in. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to turn, I'm going from here, and I'm pulling my arms back, keeping my chest down as I pull back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So working those shoulder blades, squeezing back, and release, up into the V. Squeezing the shoulder blades back, watch not lifting the chest, keep that chin retracted, try and keep looking forward. Engaging the core, pulling up the pelvic floor, and breathing. Once it gets to be too much, give it a rest. A couple more if you can. Well done. And release. Give it a little bit of a shake. A little bit of a circle. Let's make it a little bit easier. We're going to turn the palms. Actually, let's turn the palms towards the sky, towards the sky, palms towards your body, and we're just going to bend up and down, alternating sides. In fact, these weights are so light, let's do both together. But I want you to keep your elbow in tight to your body, up and down. This one should be fairly easy with this level of weight. This is just a little bit of a rest for you from the slightly harder workout. We did just now. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to take your arm up and down, lifting up, keeping that chest in alignment. Now, as you do this workout, as this exercise even, really we're only looking to come in line with the body, keeping that chest in alignment. Lift and lower. Well done. If it gets to be too much, give it a rest. It's surprising again, the weights are quite small, but because of the movements we're doing, it's a lot harder than it looks. Well done. Couple more if you can. One more each side. you're not going to bash anything with your weights just swing through with the arms let them loose give them a little bit of a circle okay i'm going to make it a little bit harder now i'm going to take the arms out to the side palms down gripping them gripping the weights and you're going to circle forward for four and back for four
harder than it looks, isn't it? When you've had enough, please rest. If your shoulders are really burning, it's time to give them a rest. You can always come back and do the workout another day. The more often you do it, the stronger you're gonna get. And it will help with other exercises if you can get this strength in your shoulders. And rest again. Do what you need to to release. If you wanna put the, the weights down and just swing your arms too, that's great. Anytime you're finding it too much with the weights, Put the weights down and just do the exercise without the weights. Now it's going to get a little bit harder here, so again, if you feel it's getting too much, come with the weights. Come. Sorry, put the weights down on the floor. Taking the arms out, you're going to bring the elbows in. Now if you look, I'm keeping the elbows high and I'm keeping the elbows soft, so I'm not locking them out. I'm just coming almost out to straight, taking it out, taking it in. You're feeling the top of those shoulders back of the arms beginning to burn yeah let's twist the other way so palms down bring it in and out in and out two more if you can well done and rest well done I'm gonna put the, the weights down now we're just gonna do a little bit to loosen through the shoulders before we finish let's bring the arms forward and then back to three and forward back just do what feels good for you here so it's opening up through the shoulders and we're going to swing just let those arms swing the weight of your arms release through the shoulders a couple of stretches taking your right hand onto your left shoulder and let it slide and you're just going to push back get a stretch through the back of the arm and take it over to the other side arm push and hold now if you've got a little bit more time you can always come back and do these last few stretches a bit longer taking the right arm up in the air Dropping it back and just taking the hand up and pushing back. So I'm trying to reach the hand down. You want to be feeling the stretch at the back of this arm. If you're comfortable to, you can always bring the arm above the head. We'll leave that one up to you. But the aim is to stretch through that arm. Okay, well done. We'll change sides. So this time the left arm comes up, bend it down towards the back and give it a little push. Some of you might find you're here. I can come all the way up, but it's fine. As long as you're feeling that stretch in the back of the arm, that position is fine too. Either here or here. Try and keep your neck relaxed. And release. Okay. Next thing I want you to do, take the arms wide. And I'm going to ask you to come round as if you're hugging around a big tree and bring the hands together. You can either clasp the fingers, or my preferred version is one hand on top of the other, just clasping the thumbs over the top. Shoulder height, once you're there, you're going to pull away, so you're resisting in and out. I will tip forward so you can see, I'm sort of in that sort of position, pulling in, with, away with the hands, away with the elbows, and I'm going to take my head over and down, as if I'm taking my head over a great from the ball, and you feel a lovely stretch across the upper back. Now, for the next one, I want you to make sure you keep your chest where it is. You don't want to lift it in the air. Keep the ribcage still. Taking the hands behind. Back of the hands into the lower back and open up across the back. Stretching back as far as is comfortable so you feel the stretch across here, across the chest. Well done. And release. Middle of the circle. Well done. That's all for today. I hope to see you in the next workout. Bye for now.